good day everyone my name is Ruslan and welcome to my youtube channel so i hope you guys are good i hope everything is fine and uh, guys today we are going to be making a skyscraper so you know i was roaming around google and check this out look at how beautiful all these different skyscrapers are and uh, you know the first you could say image i saw was the twisted tower inside dubai so we are going to be making this inside revit and uh, believe it or not it's going to be within no time right so i'm going to speed up so the first thing i did is uh, i opened up an architectural template i went to the units i changed this to meters 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 two decimal places okay okay done now we, i opened up a conceptual mass template i pressed un i changed to um, meters two decimal places okay okay so the first thing this is our first level right um let's first of all go to create level and uh, let's just place a level right here let's go back to that let's select that level let's rename it, rename it to roof okay and uh, for example if <laughs> excuse me for example if every floor is four meters so i set this to 52 it means that there's going to be a total of 13 different floors all right oh my god now uh, for example if we click on that and let's go to the top so let's start making our actual uh, floor so <laughs> uh, excuse me the first thing is the 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 layout let's make our layout so press rp and uh, let's click on that let's go to level one let's set that and uh, five meters okay so one and two okay done and uh, this is going to be uh six meters because for example if you look at our tower it's not square right it is not square uh if you look if you press on that okay both of them are set now let's go back to create let's go to rectangles and let's place our rectangle okay and, and then let's go to uh, to this right here fillet arc let's give it a radius of um, 500 <laughs> excuse me oh my god i'm coughing again 500 mm so one and two one and two one and two and one and two done now we click on that uh, and um, copy paste to selected levels and it is going to be on the roof level okay now let's go to the top and uh, that is the roof level let's again go to the top let's rotate this by by what by 90 degrees or by um uh, 135 135 90 all right so let's click on that let's click on that let's make our twisted tower and here you go and i knew it this is not 90 degrees if uh tap 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 yes we have selected that go back to the two uh the top and rotate it by another 90 and now we have the twisted tower so <laughs> done already now let's load it into our main project so this is our project right let's just paste it here so once we come into this project let's go to 3d view let's close all inactive views the first thing is always the levels uh we want uh, let's make our levels so we want every floor to be having a, a, a floor to floor height of four meters and uh, we want a total of uh, press ar to press 4 and we want a total of uh, 13 floors one of them is going to go on the top okay exact 13 floors we are on point now let's go back to our 3d uh, 3d right here close it all in active views so let's go to right here graphic display let's change this to smooth and the guys i have to save tomorrow time okay sketchy sketchy lightning let's go to top left fine and uh, let's go to for photorealistic um realistic let's enable that and uh, let's go to background let's go for sky okay and check this out so this is our conceptual mass we first of all as our mat um we uh, include our mass floors <laughs> fine okay so we have added the mass floors let's go to massing inside let's go to floors and uh, let's select all and create floors done already let's go to massing inside let's go for roof Let's create that and uh, we have made a roof already let's go to massing and side let's go for wall and uh, let's click on that so we have made our wall let's click on that we have made our wall we have made our wall it is so simple we have made our wall and guys you know i'm gonna make two walls i mean two types of walls so that you can you know learn from this video right so that is done now the second type of wall is going to be the curtain system so we once we click on that we click on that and we create our curtain system Check this out so we have made our curtain system now for example if you go right here and uh, if you change this to one and if we change this to three if you go to apply and check this out this is how it looks right so if you go to architectural if you go to mullions and uh, this is the mullion and we in we select all of the grid and check this out guys our skyscraper is already made now if you go to massing inside we deactivate that and uh, we go to level one we go to architectural we go to components let's uh, load in uh, component so no comp <laughs> excuse me oh my god uh, components or lights so let's include the studio light on level one um studio light this is gonna be 
and that is the grid elements are visible on the floor plan that's fine if you go to 3d view and if you go to wireframe and uh, that is the light if you delete that so the height is perfect right okay if you go to uh, back to um, our top and uh, so this is the light right and if you simply go to um, array so if you press on that and okay two and now if we um, s uh, sa to select all ar and if we press on that so three now sa to select all and uh, copy and paste on selected levels and click all the levels and if you press okay uh, come on come on come on and uh, the final one right here if we ungroup this and if we delete uh, delete 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 and delete and check this out guys our skyscraper is complete already so let's quickly go and check out the rendered view of this and guys check this out this is our rendered view right so this was done within what within five minutes if you go to our night view do you guys remember the lights that i had right and of course we can go to right here again we can go to our wireframe mode and uh come on come on come on why is it loading okay for example uh if you click on one of the right <laughs> uh excuse me if we click on that uh, and uh, if you go to um, ungroup again because I cannot edit it and if you go to edit we bring this right here we change the color to kind of a bit of yellow okay okay and if you go to our, back to our architectural tab architectural tab if you go to doors and if you go to load family and uh, we go to back 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 and uh, doors 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 where are you okay doors commercial and if we click on that we want the smallest and oh my god i've done so many things in so less amount of time and if we just simply add this door right here so now let's go and check out the rendered view of this okay let it load and check this out guys <laughs> so our skyscraper is completed within what within five minutes less than five minutes and this are the these yellow lights and uh, check out the door this is our door so oh my god i fell down <laughs> so this is door the door all right and this is our skyscraper so uh, i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i hope you learned something from it all right and uh, check out our skyscraper look at how beautiful this is so this is the shifted uh, the twisted not shifted oh my god this is the twisted tower inside dubai in less than five minutes in revit have a good day take care of yourself and uh, bye bye this was done in five minutes all right <laughs> so not bad for five minutes